Otherwise, you can't go to France without hiring a convertible and uh... mm -hmm. It's the best. <laughs> I'm drifting away, breathing out of my lungs. Well, this is the perfect way to start our day. Cheers, Bobs. Good morning. Welcome back to Nice. So our hotel is just up the road and we came down for a little walk along the beach today and we saw one of the cafes open, which is a surprise because here in Europe I noticed that nothing opens early, but we found one little cafe, they have these little seats and we are literally meters from the water. Grab <laughs> yourself a coffee, it is really the perfect way to start the day. So when you come to Nice, honestly, all I'd suggest is grabbing a baguette and heading to the beach and trying to relax as much as possible. However, we are here for 24 hours and there are a few things to see around in the town. So we're gonna go and show you guys what you can get up to here in Nice. One tip that I've noticed since we've come to Nice is make sure if you're going to a place, probably double the time it's gonna take you to get there because every time you go to a new area, it looks so beautiful that we keep stopping for photos. Okay, I think we found where France wakes up in the morning. There's this beautiful viewpoint, it's called Castle Hill, and it's kind of smack in the middle of Old Town and the port that we visited yesterday. It's a really nice walk up here. You kind of walk through a park, and a lot of people are going for their morning runs, and it's a really beautiful viewpoint. Guys, you can't go to France without hiring a convertible, and uh, we have found the ultimate convertible. <laughs> <laughs> guys i feel like i need to show you what we are working with right now um this is what we've been driving around the streets of nice in it's a top oh. back convertible <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty much i feel like it's a three-wheeler atv that's kind of what it is and then they've just decked it out into this little blue car it's pretty fun Oh, seriously, can't get over this. Wow. There's a whipper snipper. <laughs> There's a couple of whipper snippers going on. Wait, is that an Australian word, whipper snipper? I think it I don't is. Know, grass cutters. This is why we came to Nice. Oh my gosh. Where where is this by the way? This is like way further from the port. And this is why people come to the French Riviera. For the whipper snippers. <laughs> Hit the road back on the on our next Bad adventure. <laughs> back in the convertible. And uh, if you're wondering, no, it does not have a reverse button. I think it was a goose and even trying. When it all goes crashing down, I've been trying to keep my cool, yeah. I'm not really sure how much more I The blue car we wish we had. The blue the blue car they wish they had. <laughs> We 
we've been told this is good with black pepper but we have come out and we're trying a local dish here in Nice it's just kind of like their most popular street food it's called soccer and it is basically a pancake made from chickpeas and I've seen people they eat it with their hands and it kind of comes in this giant tray and then they grab off some and place it on a plate like presentation isn't doesn't really matter but right does it really matter though it's street well, let's food see. <laughs> so I peppered it up Yeah, it's like a, like a savory pancake. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it mm. savory? Looks super it's crispy. Good. And also came straight out of the oven. Like this place is so... It's one of the busiest places for soccer in um, Old Town Nice. So I'm like, we should go line up and try it there. And also we ordered a giant slice of pizza. Hey, we're in Europe. <laughs> mm. Mm, good. Definitely recommend the spot. So you pretty much just order your soccer from there and you have to wait because literally people just go through it straight away. And then once you've got your food here, you just come to the pub and you order a drink. But it was super tasty. It's kind of like ultimate crispy stuff. So if you like the crisp on like a pizza or the crisp on pancakes, that's pretty much the entire dish. So it was super yummy. Oh my gosh, this is the best idea ever. <laughs> I feel like he deserves the euro just for the idea. How many scoops are we allowed, Jess? I was going to say one scoop, two scoops, or ten scoops. Maybe 11 scoops euro, ten. To be honest, I'm just intrigued in what ten scoops would look like. <laughs> this forever Rocher plate. Ooh. This so much. I've been waiting for this. Guys, if you've been following for a while, you will know how much I love Snickers ice cream anywhere in Europe. And this place had Snickers ice cream. And the reason we went to Azuro is because a lot of people recommend it because they make handmade cones. So this is a handmade waffle cone with Snickers ice cream. And what did you choose? Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. Yum. <laughs> Snickers is on top. Dickens, Steve. It's the best. <laughs> I want to try the cone. <laughs> Just in an element right now. That is amazing. Okay. We can leave these now. I'm done. <laughs> Took the road less traveled, traveled. So when I went to film school, we learned a lot about the Cannes Film Festival and we are pretty much just down the road. It's like a 40 minute train ride. So when we were back at our hotel, totally didn't realize that we are here in Nice during the Cannes Film Festival, which is just really cool. So we're actually going to jump onto the train and head down there. There's a big film premiere tonight. So we're just going to go walk in and kind of just get enveloped with just the experience. We can't actually go see any movies because you have to be in like the press on a movie side or something like that. But at least we're just going to walk around and just kind of enjoy the atmosphere. And I'm bringing this one along for the ride. I'm only coming because you said I have a 5% chance of meeting Leonardo DiCaprio tonight. So I may have over exaggerated. Probably 1% chance. <laughs> So first of all, I feel like we already sound like we're rookies because we've been calling it Cannes, but I think it's just Cannes, right? Yeah, I Cannes think so. Film Festival. So we got off the train, we saw a group of Americans in tuxedos, and I was like, okay, let's just follow them. We followed them, and now we're actually at the red carpet. I don't know who's here or anything, but it's kind of cool because I've never seen a red carpet before. Kind of cool. So this is the big theatre that hold it in every year, and then that's kind of the red carpet, and we're just behind the press over here. I see so many people with cameras, so we fit in perfectly. <laughs> see Jess, told you we would see DiCaprio. <laughs> we literally just missed them before we came. They were on the red carpet, and we found out that now Quentin Tarantino's movie is on. So you were right. I like almost had a 5% chance to see him. <laughs> Oh, what's really cool is we found out that even though the public can't just go and casually watch a screening, there's actually um, movies that are played right here on the beach every single night at around 9.30 at night, and you can just sit out on the sand and watch a movie. I think they play movies from, what, they like won awards over the last Cannes Festival? Yeah, over, right? the, over the last years. I think tonight there is a Taiwanese movie on. Wow, that's so cool. Look how big the stage is. And then everyone just kind of sits over there. I don't think I've ever been to an outdoor movie on the beach. That yes. would be so cool. So cool. I was actually reading because they change the red carpet three or four times a day because it gets so dirty. Leo's going to walk on that carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Longer than I 
was expecting. <laughs> wow, it looks so beautiful at this time of day. This is amazing. It's like nine o'clock, I think. Yeah, nine o'clock. So we've come back to Nice and um, we thought we'd let you know that on the way to Cannes, we took the train, it was seven euros. And on the way back, we saw that the bus 200 goes between Nice and Cairns. So we're like, okay, let's do the bus. The train took 20 minutes, but the bus took like an hour and a half, but it was only a euro 50. So it was very cheap. So if you've got time, do the bus, but it's quite a long one, but wow, look at this. That is such a nice sunset just over there. Wow. wow. So we still have one more day here in the French Riviera, but tomorrow we're actually gonna head to a brand new country. <laughs> just around the corner, it's like 40 <laughs> minutes away. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Bye. I already have like a first impressions. It kind of feels like a dystopian world. Picked up a bunch of little supplies. We're actually gonna have a picnic at the most beautiful park. Look at this place. Steven's very excited because he got his baguette.